I'm excited today. Today I have the final Flare product for me to review. If you've been around this channel for quite some time, you would know that I've reviewed every single Flare that has came out, every single product they have released between the Flare Classic, the Flare Signature, the Flare Pro, the Flare Pro 2, the Flare Neo, the Flare 58. Um, a lot of the things that they've produced, I've had the privilege of owning at some point in my life, this being the only thing that I've never got to use up until now. Outside of the Flare 58 LE, which is the limited edition version, but it's pretty much the same, minus a few cosmetic tweaks on, on it in comparison to the Flare 58, so I'm not really counting that. Um, but this is a, is a grinder that I've thought about purchasing for a long, long time. I think it's been out for a few years now, um, but I've never got around to doing it because I never needed a hand grinder to do it, and I didn't want to spend the $160 to make a review. Um, but thankfully, I reached out to Flare recently and asked them, like, if they would be willing to be part of a comparison that I'm doing, which you can check that out. It's maybe either on my channel or it's coming soon where I can pair four hand grinders and this is one of them and you can kind of see how it stacks up against others. But I, I reached out to them and they graciously sent me over this Flare Royal on loan uh, for a few months at a time to just really kind of get my eyes grounded on this, see what I think about it, and then uh, give my honest opinions on it. So thank you, Flare, for sending this over for a short amount of time to allow me to do this. And heads up, you as the viewer, Flair doesn't have a bias on this. Even though I'm wearing this, this really cool Flair shirt, um, they're not paying me for this, they're not sponsoring this, they just simply sent me this in exchange for an honest review. And I had plans on exactly what I was gonna say with it, sharing all of my thoughts with it, and that's what you're gonna get today. So thank you so much for tuning in on this. I'm really excited for it. So starting off, we have this Flair bag, which I'm really surprised because a lot of grinders don't come with a case for it, and this is more than un enough of a case that you need, in my opinion. You simply sh shove the grinder in here in this side, handle goes here, and there's a little brush that comes with that I have somewhere floating around my house. Fold this down and wrap it up, and you're good to go. You can throw it in your bag, and it won't get scratched or anything like that. This grinder comes in at 160. It's obviously probably meant to be used with a flare espresso machine, but it works on anything, including pour overs. So I use this on my Breville Dual Boiler, a 58 millimeter portafilter on there, and I've used it on the flare. I've used it on the Pico Presso, um, which is another portable espresso machine. Shy flare for mentioning that. It's done a great job. It's a simple, simple way to adjust things on it. Um, this lid comes off and it allows you to not have a bunch of bean spillage on there. And there's a little indicator here on the side which it allows you to basically lift up this top portion and place it on whatever grind setting you want to. Um, and it counts it off from zero to 11 with a dot on the inside. I didn't see exactly how many microns it is between all of these, but I find it more than enough to adjust grind settings on it. Um, more than enough to get you kind of where you want to go on these grinders. Um, it has a nice little thumb stop, which I unfortunately never get to use because I'm left-handed and it's irrelevant for me. It's got a nice rubberized grip, some metal here, and one of the most interesting design choices that I've ever seen, which is a kind of pressurized plastic catch cup that kind of forces on here and you have to tilt your hand and tilt the grinder to get it to come off. When I got this grinder, this was the dumbest decision I've ever seen on a grinder. Like, I've never seen a grinder do this, why would they do that? After using it, I find this to be my favorite feature out of every grinder that I've ever had. I've used magnetic catch cups, I've used screw-on catch cups, I've used uh, the ones that are held on by an O-ring, and this is by far my favorite catch cup I've ever had. As minor of a detail as that, but I find that pressurized, like there's a little notch on here that allows it to stay on here, and I find it very, very secured while I'm grinding. I never have to worry about it falling. My hand rests just above it, which is a good fit for my hand on this grinder. It might be a little different for you. Um, and I don't have any concern about this falling off on um, while grinding. And when it comes to take off the grind grinder, at first it was a little quirky, but if you just simply tilt your hand, it pops off with ease and it forces on with ease and I have had no problems with it whatsoever. And it's it's been a joy to use and one of my favorite things about this grinder. Um, it has a metal cup on the inside so it's not just all plastic and uh, it works out super, super well. And I'm sure if you had some issue with the grinder and this ever broke, I'm sure if you reached out to Flare, they could probably figure out how to get you that last little part to fix it. Um, when it comes to adjusting the grind setting, like I said, you just lift it up. The handle has a screw on piece here. So you simply use this thumb screw 
and unscrew it, which takes a little bit of time, and it comes off. So if you're only using this for travel, it can be kind of annoying that it's not a magnetic thing like um, other ones, but if it's sitting on your counter for a while or um, if you want that extra security, I find this incredibly enjoyable to use and it gives you a lot of security and you know that this lid is not going anywhere. I like it, it's not for everybody. They could have put a magnetic piece in there and it would have been kind of nice in the sense of traveling, makes it a little easier. The one thing that I don't like is they have this little lid, which was a, an add-on after a little bit of it. Um, it originally did not have a lid similar to the Kinu, um, but I find that this lid still allows bean spillage even though when you put it on there, it has a little bar that stabilizes stabilizes the grinder a little bit. There's very, very small gaps, but I still found that some beans can come out of it. So maybe adding a handle that, that's kind of a tough thing because they, since they attach the handle like this, you kind of had to have a removable lid that way. If the lid was attached to the handle, you'd have to unscrew the thing in order to load in the beans. So the option basically would be flared to make a different handle that had the lid on there that magneted in like other ones, which has its pros and cons to it. Um, so I'm not saying that they should do it, but I'm saying this grinder doesn't have that, which most grinders do. Um, but other than that, um, it works really, really well. I'm very, very happy with uh, the way that this is designed and used. Um, bean spillage is a very minor thing. I've had the same thing happen on a $350 grinder. Um, so take that with what you will. The grip, grip is super nice. Um, all that stuff is super nice. And overall, when it comes to dialing in shots, when it comes to using this grinder, I find it very, very easy. It doesn't produce the best results out of any hand grinder that I've used. Um, obviously, the more money you spend, probably the better quality of cup that you're gonna get. But when it comes to using the Flare Royal, I find this to, in my opinion, to be one of the best values for money in a hand grinder, which surprises me because with it being out for a few years, I feel like it never really grabbed much trash traction. I feel like any of the Flare Espresso machines between the Neo, the Pro, the Signature, anything that they kind of released out, I feel like it has done really well. Um, but I, I don't really feel like I've seen much about this grinder. I haven't seen much use of it. I haven't seen it in a lot of reviews in comparison, which you'll see sooner down the road. Um, which surprises me because I feel like $160 that this comes in at is a very good value for a hand grinder that does espresso. I found that I could grind 18 grams on a 58 millimeter porter filter, um, which is one of the like the largest size. The, the smaller the porter filter you have, the coarser you get to go. And it took me about a little over a minute to do that, and it felt pretty easy to grind with a lot without a lot of force on it. The bag I feel like could be designed a little bit better. Um, mainly, I just wish this. There might be a reason that they did this, and if they did, Flair, I'd love to hear it. I wish that this would be longer and it would go all the way over the grinder instead of halfway over. It just kind of stops at a weird point. This is super nitpicky though. Um, the bag is nice. It comes with a bag, which most grinders don't, and it comes with enough of a bag that I don't feel like it needed to have a hard shell case. I will throw this in my luggage without a concern. It takes up a little bit more space than other grinders, but Overall, the ease of use and the price, I feel like it's a no-brainer to purchase this. Um, if you have any questions, if you have this grinder, I'd love to hear your experience with it. If you have the same thing as me, um, Flair, thank you so much for making great products. Um, I feel like I would love to make a review where um, you make something that is not great. Um, I haven't had that yet, um, so it's been great to kind of see the increase in Flair and how they've kind of met the customer needs and listened to customers over the course of the five years that I've owned and used their products. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at and I hope this grinder is something that works for you. It works for me and it's something that I might even purchase for myself in the near future to have a good travel grinder. I only have a Commandant C40 that I personally own which just takes forever to grind for espresso in this quicker job even though it might not produce near as good of results as the Commandant. Um, but if you like this video um, and you want to support me as a YouTuber, consider purchasing this grinder through Flair's website with the link below. I'll make a slight commission at no extra charge to you and I just want to say um, please like and subscribe if this is beneficial. It really helps me out as grow and I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me as a YouTuber. Thank you.